two Western teams have won the gauntlet. Only one can emerge victorious to claim a spot in the finals. Game one of the Western Conference Finals begins in a moment. And here with you for some NBA action, this is Kevin Harlan with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Here we go, baby. It's going to be a blast. The starting lineup is presented by State Farm for game one of the conference finals. First for the Jazz, Derrick Rose is out there with J.R. Smith. And the man patrolling the middle, Ameka Okafor. They look to him to provide that necessary presence down low. Then there's Gallinari, and it's Aldridge in at the power forward. And for the Timberwolves, Nash out there with Kobe. And the big man playing center, Memo Okur. They utilize his abilities to maintain that presence under the rim. And it's LeBron James, and it's Anthony in at the four. The tension is electric, and the importance is critical as they have a chance in their own building to take game one of the series. And they're aware that this game will set the tone for the entire series. Being at home will make things a little easier on them, but they've still got a big job to do. Steve, the atmosphere in this building is fantastic right now. I mean, the fans are ready to get this series started. And I think that energy feeds right into the team here at home. The Timberwolves have it, and the Western Conference Finals have started. Here's LeBron. LaMarcus Aldridge grabs the miss. Timberwolves on D. It's game number two of the season versus the Jazz for it. That was a great win, a real thriller. And I think their confidence really seemed to soar once they got into the overtime session. You know, you think about it, Steve, as an underdog, sometimes the emotion of the game can swing in your favor when you get to overtime. Here's Smith. Aldridge backing in. He cans that one. Aldridge has got the opening bucket of the night here for the Jams. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline and gave me just a few minutes with him. Coach knows that the onus is on their team to come out of this with the win, saying for them, they are playing with no pressure. The pressure lies with us to hold home court advantage, but we're in a good place as a team and should be up to the challenge. Guys? Thank you, Doris. Here's Rose, averaging 14 points a game. Outside Aldridge. There's the dish to Smith. LeBron against Gallinari. Lots of room. The shot is off. Now the Timberwolves will take it the other way. Here's Kobe. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Kobe's got his first bucket in this one. Rose against Nash. Nash gets called for block. That is his first foul of the game. Well, he rotated defensively, but probably just... bit too late and good call he didn't quite get to the spot that's always a bang bang call for the officials he got that one right get stolen by Okura great job defensively getting out and forcing that turnover and the first shot of the night for him missing and so here is Utah taken away by Anthony fast break here we go and Rose picks him up defensively the three from LeBron oh! bad there Kevin I won't lie he got my attention with that well not just yours he got everybody's attention yeah, it's like a sense of disbelief in this building after watching that Nash against Rose Aldridge against Anthony just four to shoot and he was fouled on the way up two free throws down for him 
free throw drops for Aldridge. Darko Milicic, she's checked in for Minnesota. And he can't hit the second. On defense, Utah. It's a three-point game. Count it. The defender is called for the block, and this could turn into a three-point play. He can't complete the three-point play. On offense, here are the Jazz. Trailing by five. Here's Rose. Plenty of room around him, and it's good. Good basketball instincts on display there, making it happen. It's taken away by Smith. I'm not sure what they're thinking offensively. Poor decision on that pass. And that one's good by Aldridge. I tell you what, you watch this guy put it in the basket, and his scoring ability can just astound you at times. Oh, my goodness, what a slant. <laughs> yeah, he usually gives the fans something to remember him by. Yep, you can count on something special from him on a nightly basis. That was a great replay on the Sprite Slam Cam. Offensive rebound. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. So here's Gallinari, right now averaging five points a game. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Good luck. Another miss by LeBron. Jazz trail by three. Smith kicks to Rose. Guarded now by Nash. Nash against Rose. A step back shot here. And the rejection by Milicic. Minnesota with the ball. Three-point lead. Pull up Jay, and the jumper is on the mark. Here's Rose. Defended by Nash. A work from Rose. From the top of the key, he buries it. Rose has got his second bucket. Near the three-point line, it's Nash. A rebound by the Jams. Rose with the ball. Guarded now by Nash. Rose passes to a... Oh! 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 But maybe the play of the game right there. An alley-oop slam is always going to be at the top of the list there, Clark. Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite plays in basketball, guys. Kobe dishes to LeBron. Throws it up high. Trying to go big for the alley-oop, but good defense got in the way. The opening was there for a split second, but he didn't get it there in time. Okafor with the steal. Takes it right up. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Yeah, going straight to the hoop, attacking the whole way. Yeah, nice finish. Cap that break off in style. Anthony kicks to LeBron. Kobe passes to LeBron. Six to shoot. Over Gallinari. Derek Rose grabs the miss. He's laboring out there right now, guys. The shot has not been falling for him this quarter. They're fortunate that one was just deflected and not stolen. Dodged a bullet there. Minnesota making some changes. Memo Okur is checked in for Milicic. Haslam comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And Kevin Durant is subbed in for LeBron. Kurt Thomas is checked in for Utah. Anderson comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. Colinari dishes to Smith. Guarded now by Durant. Here's Colinari. Anderson. Uncovered. And it's good. Three straight buckets in the paint. They're making it look effortless. Well, speaking of effortless, you'd like to see a little more out of the defense. Huh? How about trying, guys? Outside Durant. Will it go? That's good. Durant's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Rose against Nash. Kicks to Gallinari. Back to Rose. Smith left side. Here's the three. And it's Haslam with the rebound. That's a bold move, trying to respond to that three, but he couldn't convert. Nash's shot is off. 
Long deep. Oh, he put it down. In a count. What a shot. That was good. And the buzzer. Well, he just throws up a prayer and it gets answered. And those kind of shots are such a big lift for any team going into a break. Well, it's been a high-scoring competitive game through the first quarter of play. Jazz out in front. They're up by three. I was impressed with their transition game, guys. They really got out and ran the lanes. Yeah, they did. I mean, no better way to get easy buckets than through fast breaks. And we'll be back in just a moment. Game two of the Eastern Conference Finals awaits. The Toronto Raptors go up against the Miami Heat this weekend. NBA action. And we welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. Here is Calderon. Defended by Nash. Calderon kicks to Smith. Smith right side. Deflects the pass. Out of bounds. And they retain possession. Here's Smith. Shot clock at three. From deep three-point range. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Timberwolves trail by three. The three from LeBron. And the shot is good. LeBron's now got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Timberwolves. Smith outside. Picked up by Kobe. It's stolen by Okura. Well, now that's twice we've seen the offense collapse. That's back-to-back -back empty trips because of turnover. Yeah, that's going to be a problem because now all of a sudden you start turning the ball over. You lose all offensive rhythm and flow. Here's Smith, and he uses the glass on the lane. You no, know, they're just getting hammered inside and really need to find a way to be tougher down there. they got to be physical. they got to man up in there. I agree. I mean, you look at the points they're giving up. Most of them seem to be coming inside the paint. Fast break. Here they come. Okur is tagged with the reach. That is his first foul of the game. A different look for Utah. Kurt Thomas is checked in for Okafor. Aldridge comes in for Ryan Anderson. And it's Walker in for J.R. Smith. Here's Walker. Guarded by Kobe. And here's Calderon. Shot clock at five. Shoots from the high post. Good work defensively by Anthony. The Timberwolves trail. He gathers. And there's Kobe. That's good on the assist from O'Cool. Six points for Kobe Bryant. Calderon against Nash. Nash against Calderon. Now Lewis. No good on the free throw. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Ray Allen is checked in for Kobe. And it's Heinrich in for Steve Nash. And the second free throw, good. Here's LeBron. Seven points in the game. Heinrich hits to LeBron. Anthony, the pass to LeBron. And Okur slams it home. Okur's got his first points in this one. Utah trailing here. The feed now to Walker. Defended by Allen. Calderon against Heinrich. Walker dishes to Calderon. Over Heinrich. It's blocked. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. For the Jams. Emeka Okafor. He's checked in for Thomas. Alinari comes in for Rashard Lewis. And Jerry Stackhouse is subbed in for Bill Walker. 
LeBron outside. This one for three. And it's Emeka Okafor with the rebound. And so here is Utah. They trail by one. Allen for three. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Now here is going on. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. From 17 feet out. Aldridge, no luck. Minnesota in the lead. Here's LeBron. And he makes good on the way. You know, Kevin, that's just him doing his thing. I mean... That's who he is, launching himself at the basket. I mean, he thrust himself at the basket. He's an angry driver and attacker of the rim. Allen is whistled for reaching in. That's his first foul. Some changes for Minnesota. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for Anthony. Durant comes in for LeBron. And Luke Ridnauer subbed in for Kirk Heinrich. Here's Stackhouse. Here's Calderon. Taken away by Ridmeyer. Careless, careless play for him. That's three turnovers now in the quarter. He's got to do better. Allen, that's good. Here is Calderon. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Jams. And Coach could tell they were out of sync. Who's going to try to straighten it out? Substitution now for Minnesota. Carmelo Anthony's checked in for Okur. Pierce comes in for Udonis Hazard. Kobe's checked in for Ray Allen. And it's Heinrich in for Luke Ridden. Here's Calderon. Looking for his first bucket of the game. From deep, Gallinari. The shot's good on the assist by Calderon. Here's Heinrich. 153 left to play here in the half. The three from Anthony. Kept alive. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. Darko Milicic, he's checked in for Carmelo Anthony. Utah also making some changes. Kurt Thomas, he's checked in for Okafor. Smith comes in for Jerry Stackhouse. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Jose Calderon. Moving the ball. Durant just inside the line. A quick shot there, and it's off target. Boy, both clubs really battling under the boards. Yeah, and you know, Steve, the rebounding story really mirrors the game at large. I mean, it's been pretty much tit for tat, neck and neck. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Nice job there of disrupting that play. Yeah, nearly came up with the steal. Here's Aldridge. He has seven. Shot from the inbound. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That's good defense. Don't let a guy get away and foul hard and send him to the free throw line. Yeah, I like that billboard there. Sending the message. Can't come in here and get anything free in our paint. Timberwolves on offense. Pierce for three. Gallinari with the rebound. Gallinari's got three rebounds so far in the game. Outside Rose. Pierce against Aldrich. Now Pierce defending. Pulls up. Another miss by Utah. And Minnesota has possession. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. J.R. Smith picks one up. And the official right on top of that one. Yeah, I agree with you there, Steve. He didn't hesitate to make that call. And now he'll get his chance at the line. And Kobe drops them both. It's a close game here in Minnesota. Gallinari against Durant. Fires top of the key. Another miss by Utah. They can go two for one. Yeah, they need to play it smart. Make sure you get a good shot first and then maybe a second possession. Well, I think it takes a lot of guts to shoot the three on the fast break with a guy closing out on you. 
Rose against Heinrich. Rose kicks to Aldridge. Minnesota with the rebound. Milicic has got four rebounds in this game. They set the pick, and here's Kobe. He trained the shot right at the buzzer. Holy blood. I mean, that's a big time clutch. Bump. That is a prime time play, guys. He got himself squared up and knocked down the shot, no problem. And so we wrap up the first half. Timberwolves lead by eight. Conference finals just getting started. Thanks so much for joining us here on the HP Halftime Report. The Timberwolves are looking good at the midway point. They're looking to make a statement in game one and set the tone for the series. Kobe Bryant, huge impact. We're at halftime and still he hasn't missed a shot. It's been a pure shooting exhibition. And for the Jazz, it's been all hustle. A gritty, hard-nosed effort. They're hungry for the win. They're making their own luck. LaMarcus Aldridge leads them in scoring. He's got nine points and also been chipping in on the glass, hauling in a few rebounds. And a look here at some of the top two performers in the first half. Oh, they're worthy of the spotlight. And that just about wraps it up for us here in the studio. Now let's get you back to Kevin and the crew for the second half. Back here at the Western Conference Finals as we get things started once more. Here's Rose. Smith outside. Back to Rose. Anthony against Aldridge. Just five on the clock. Here's Rose. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Okur's got three rebounds now in this one. It's stolen by Rhodes. Here's Smith, and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Yeah, the official all over that one. That's a good call here. You got to give credit to the official there. I mean, being in the right position to make that call, that's what they get paid to do. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Timberwolves leading by six. Deep two from Anthony. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Six points for Carmelo Anthony. And stolen by Nash. It counts. And it's a 10-point Timberwolves lead. Another bucket there. Trying to extend this lead, guys. I like what they're doing. I mean, putting together a run here, building that lead. They could get to the finish line comfortable. Here's the break. Gives him the lead pass. It's taken away by Smith. Golinari against Anthony. The shot's good from Smith. Smith's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, they're finding the open man. Unselfish play. I like it. Yeah, I love it too. Teamwork and evidence there right on full display. A big percentage, a high percentage of their basket have come off assist. That's good. Okur's got five. Fellas, they are heating up from outside now. Yep, of their last five hoops, three of them have come from long range. Utah calls timeout. They've gone cold. And a smart timeout here to give them a second to regroup and try to get back on the right track. Here's Rhodes. He's got seven. Here's Smith. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. He's got ten. He's gotten himself involved in just about every aspect of this game. Yeah, it's been a fantastic all-around performance, guys. That's his shot is in. That's four straight from the field, guys. Off to a quick start this third quarter. Anthony against Aldridge, and stolen by Nash. Timberwolves leading by 11. It's taken away by Smith. Even numbers, four on four. And here's Rose outside. Memo Okur comes up with the rebound. Okur's got his fifth rebound in this one. 
Shoots from 12. Here's... Oh! How's that for finishing with flavor? Absolutely fantastic. I think he was saving that one for a special occasion. Here's Rose. Defended by Nash. Rose against Nash. LeBron against Gallinari. Lock at six over Anthony. The Jazz with another miss. A humongous lead for him here. I mean, they've really done a good job of controlling the flow of the game. Yeah, I think it's the rebounding they have to thank for that part because it's really set the tone in this contest. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Allen's checked in, and Aldridge no good on that one. And so here is Minnesota. The three from Anthony. It's hauled in by LaMarcus Aldridge. Jazz trailed by 11. Smith, the pass to Okafor. Rose against Anthony. Here's Smith. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got his third assist on the night. Minnesota with the ball. Nine-point game. James. Sean Lewis pulls it in. He should make that one, guys. He had a pretty good look at the basket. Just couldn't get it to go. Good defense there. He was just waiting for that one. As soon as they forced that turnover, they really attacked the rim. I like that. Yeah, I agree with you. I thought that was the highlight of the sequence. Aldridge with a screen on Nash. Rose gets to Okafer, working on Okur. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. No good on that. And he's good on the second. Here is Nash. Right now averaging seven points a game. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Here's LeBron. It's a 10-point game. No good on the quick three. Launches it. And that one's good. Smith's got 11 points here in just the second half. You know, the defense in transition typically is trained to protect the rim and the paint first. And those are the type of open looks you can get from beyond the arc under those circumstances. Anthony against Rose. Guarded now by Nash. Here's Smith. Lays it up and banks it in. And now it's only a five-point Timberwolves lead. This is a fantastic performance in this half. He didn't play as well in the first, but you know, you just know with this guy, he's always ready to turn it around. Some changes for Minnesota. Adonis Haslam is checked in for Okur. Durant comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And Kobe is subbed in for Ray Allen. The Jazz also changing it up. Anderson comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Gallinari in for Richard Lewis. Nash outside. Shot is off. And Utah the other way. Puts it up. And it's Smith missing. Timberwolves leading by five. And here's Kobe for three. The rebound by Okafor. Okafor's got his fourth rebound in this one. Oh! Now Sprite slam cam to replay that one. Now that's a special order right there. Not everybody can cap off a dunk like that. Yeah, very difficult maneuver, but a tremendous one if you can pull it off. For three, Durant. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Six points for Kevin Durant. Outside Rose. Dishes to Smith. Back to Rose. Shot clock at six. Defended by Nash. Rose, no good. Well, that's a really good look, but even as good a shooter as he is, they're not all going to fall. And here's LeBron outside. No good on that last second attempt there. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well.
What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. He's been fantastic. And this is a guy who loves to show up for big games and come through. That's exactly what he's doing. And, Steve, you can expect him to be a major factor in the last quarter here as he knows exactly what's at stake in this contest. And we'll get it going after this from the Target Center. So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for the Spark Spark Report. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. It's the Timberwolves with the spark of the game with that push we saw. It was locked down defense in the second quarter that allowed them to build this lead they now enjoy. Another quarter with that kind of defensive intensity will be more than enough to close this game out, Kevin. Okay, Doris, thank you. And that run, Clark, really changed the complexion of this game. Yeah, it sure did. I thought it stirred something up in them that got them on a good run. Yeah, got the ball rolling for them, and they were able to keep it going from there, guys. Rose against Pierce. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. And here's Anderson for three. Minnesota with the rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. It's blocked. Clark, this offense has really been clicking. No doubt. And slam dunk. Wow. Now the Sprite slam cam for the replay. Yes, indeedy. Boy, I love that one. That's not just any plain dunk. That has some panache to it. That's an energizer, guys. That <laughs> is an energizer. That is, and that will lift the whole team up. The shot by Kobe, no good. Jazz trail by seven. Here's Walker. Blocked. And they're running. The open shot by Pierce. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Here is Rose. Utah calls timeout. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hi, guys. Over that break, I was able to catch the message Tyrone Corbin was giving to his team. He was definitely not pleased. He said, you guys look lethargic out there and told them they've got to increase their activity level. He ended the huddle by saying, this is not going to get the job done. I want to see who's going to step up. All right, Doris. Thank you very much. Not sure who made the blunder there, but there's no way that should have been a turnover. LeBron dishes to Kobe. Kobe can't get that one to fall. Now remember, he did make a three-pointer in the first half, so we'll see if he can find the range here in the second. He couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. You know, something distracted him. The guy just kind of profiled right out of bounds. Hey, Allen has checked in for Minnesota. Nash comes in for LeBron. Nash, the pass to Carmelo. The kick out to Pierce. The dive for the ball. Gallinari with the steal. For the finish, rips down the breakaway slam. Here is Nash. But three. Another miss by Minnesota. Jazz trail by seven. Calderon up top, defended by Okur. Offensive rebound. Another shot. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. It's on Mehmet Okur. Some great play by LaMarcus Aldridge tonight. He's got 11 points, and he's made three shots at the foul line. Now well, that's important. When you get to the foul line, any team, uh, when you can outscore your opponent from the foul line, uh, it's critical. And he's trying to do his part right there. And it's Utah's ball. They trail by seven. The three. They grab their own miss. Okafor. Timberwolves leading by seven. Allen for three. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Yeah, you can tell they're getting frustrated defensively out here. All these three-pointers fall. Yeah, Steve, they're ready to throw their hands up. You can see it. The frustration is very visible. I mean, when you spread the floor and shoot the three the way they've done here in the second half, it's really hard to defend. This defense is porous right now. I mean, way too many looks coming from inside. Carmelo throws it down. Well, he took that one to the rack with some purpose. Well, I'll say, beautiful dunk there, Steve. Yeah, how about the agility? Just the, the power and the skill. Impressive. 
But on his hassle, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Durant comes in for Paul Pierce. Jazz trailed by 11. Now here's Calderon. Lewis outside. There's the triple. No good. Nice D from Durant. Well contested shot, and they did an excellent job of not fouling the shooter. Defense is about effort and commitment and discipline. He's a good defender because of those things. Nash kicks to Allen. And Kevin Durant with the slam. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. Find a gap in the defense and attack that rim with force. He is so good at doing just that. Maybe as good as anybody. Just so athletic and strong. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Okur comes in for Udonis Hassel. And Kobe is subbed in for Ray Allen. And the Jazz call time here. This run, a definite concern. They've lost all momentum. And they need to try to sort this out right away. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Darko Milicic, he's checked in for Okur. Haslam comes in for Carmelo Anthony. LeBron, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. And it's Heinrich in for Steve Nash. Heinrich against Rose. The baseline J. That is good. Here's LeBron. Guy is a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, I agree. Got to use some clock here. And he lays it straight in. Yeah, easy bucket for him there. And finish he did. Took it hard to the rim. Aldridge against Haslam. And the rejection by LeBron. Timberwolves leading by 14. And Kobe throws it down. Off to the races, just really getting up and down the floor. Not much the defense could do there, guys, but let him go. Here is Rose. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Low block shot, and Aldridge gets it to go on the assist by Rose. 13 points for Aldridge. And the Timberwolves call time. They're leading by 14. 135 left in the game. Here's Kobe. Over Smith. And again, Kobe Bryant. And the Timberwolves lead by 16. Boy, he's been good offensively tonight. I really like what I've seen. And here's the break. And Heinrich with the basket, the assist by LeBron. Now you can put this one in the W call. I mean, this is locked up now. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they closed this game out exactly like they needed to. Kobe against Smith. The three-pointer, no good. Timberwolves leading by 18. Here's Milicic. And a great assist by Heinrich as that one goes in. Another great job of moving the basketball and finding a good shot. Steve, that's been the thing for them so far. I mean, they've really worked well as a unit together, and the assist totals echo that. Clark, one thing we've seen from these guys is excellent ball movement. And you love to see that, Kevin. I mean, I love watching unselfish play, and I know Steve enjoys that too. Yeah, that's the best part of the game. I mean, the five-man team game where the ball moves has so much unselfish play. It's beautiful to watch. And it's Smith missing. He thought he made that one. He sure did. I mean, it was an excellent look. It just didn't go down. Milicic, no luck. Tell you what, it seems like all it takes is just a little bit of defense for him to be tentative on those layup attempts. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Hansel gets called for the reach. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Kevin Durant's checked in for LeBron. Allen comes in for Kobe. And it's Nash in for Kirk Heinrich. Myers from 14. That one a little long. He should have knocked that one down, and we'll be the first one to tell you that. For three, Durant. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. Not much to be critical of with this win, Clark. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. And that'll wrap it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the whole 2K crew.
Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching the NBA Western Conference Finals presented by 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan Player of the Game.